we're talking about processing our prophetic journey together. And I have a really good story for you today because we're going to be talking about how to shift atmospheres. I want to tell you a story that may help you. I think sometimes when you tell stories, it's worth you know a lot of sermons because people hear and see themselves in their own process in the context of your story. That's why we're doing this. So I was invited by a friend of mine who is a rather new friend to uh, go to a Hollywood club downtown right off of Hollywood Boulevard. And they asked me to come in and pray. And they said, hey, we're having a hard time. We have nannies quitting. We have, this place used to be, be the Paranormal Institute for Supernatural Research in Hollywood. And we decided to form a club out of it. And he was an investor, like an Asian investor with three other guys who weren't saved, who had all formed this together. And they were being haunted, so to speak, by these spirits, these psychic, you know, had these psychics and mediums had done all this stuff there in the building. So he said, can you come? Is there anything we can do about this? I said, absolutely, I'm there. I mean, I'm going to a club for a totally different reason than other people go to clubs. I mean, everyone else is going to this club to party. I was going to deliver it at the demonic, which is crazy. So I get down there and there happened to be two other groups of people who were praying as well, which is really good. Some of their friends of his that were praying. So we walked through the whole property and you could feel some stuff. If you've never felt uh, supernatural bad stuff, we could definitely feel it. This place had been, they put some antennas on it or in the spirit in a bad way. And so we were just, you know, praying and I said, okay, you guys, we had uh, three of the four owners there. So I said, you guys, let's pray together. They didn't know what that meant because one of the owners said it invited in a shaman to clean out with stage the week before it didn't work and more employees quitting, more nannies quitting. And they said, we need help because everything's falling apart because of what's linked to this building. So I said, okay, we're going to do something. I want you guys to repeat after me. But you have to really mean it, okay? So I want you to really focus. Everybody close your eyes. And I said, Holy Ghost! <laughs> I was being really dramatic. And they all said, Holy Ghost. And I said, Be the only ghost here. And they said, Be the only ghost here. And I said, Amen. And so it's done. So that part's done. And they're like, No. And I said, No, really, it's done. Go walk around. Go see what you feel. God, because you said you invited God to be the only presence here. Everything else is going to be driven out. But let's talk about sustaining that in a real way. Like, how do you sustain the presence of God somewhere? So I basically took them on this journey as people who weren't, say, pre, pre-saved people, people who don't believe in our way of Christianity as far as bringing salvation, bringing presence of God, bringing, they, but they believe in the supernatural. And I said, you guys, this is your time to claim ownership spiritually over this place and then ask God to come fill this place with his spirit. And they said, we'll do it. So we did it. Yeah, and I said, okay, that's it. So it was like 15 minute prayer time after we walked the building and I left and I had a lot of confidence in what happened. And I get a call from my friend about two weeks later and he said, hey, can you come down here? We want to talk to you. So I went down and they said, everything changed. Like for the last two weeks, we realized we we were so afraid of what had been here. We were so afraid of what we were experiencing that we didn't realize we could have authority and give it to God and that God would have authority here. And it's changed everything. One of the guys was a practicing uh, Catholic for a while and had turned his back on his, you know, his Catholicism and just didn't really like religion anymore. And him and his family had gone through a lot. And he said, I just asked Jesus to come into my life after, you know, about two days ago and said, come into my life and come, if you can do this for a building, what can you do in my heart? Isn't that awesome? Like, what can you do in my heart? And the whole atmosphere of the place when I went back was completely different. I was still Hollywood club, but it no longer had that lingering effect of who had been there before. They were able as, as owners to claim it and they had painted the whole thing white instead of being like a dark cd club they painted it all white and they said we want this to feel when you come in clean and we want it to feel we want it to be used for all kinds of good purposes so for a season we had open invitation to go down there on friday nights and saturday nights and just do prophetic evangelism just go and share with people and love on people anytime we wanted to with many friends who went we went a few times and then we also did a lot of events there for the kingdom which is amazing before they sold it and transitioned and I just think we are called to shift atmospheres. You guys are the power of God inside of you. I have the power of God inside of me. And it's way easier than we think if we just bring the right kind of alignment. And so I wanted to share that story with you today because I felt like it was an important perspective builder that it doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be a formula. It doesn't have to be a science. It doesn't have to be, you know, well, I saw it done this way three times in scripture. So I need to do it exactly that way. It's just about agreeing in your heart with God. It's about bringing connection between God and earth. God and his people, even if they're not his people and their, their own hearts yet, he still looks at them as sons and daughters. And so I invite you on that journey as well. If you've had an experience of shifting in the atmosphere, leave it in the comments below. I just think we can all resource each other and tell stories that will also give each other faith for these kinds of things to happen. Have a great day.